and they return to their home in Rama. When Ashrama had relations with his wife Hannah, the Lord remembered her. She conceived, and at the end of her term, bore a son, whom she called Samuel, since she had asked the Lord for him. The word of the Lord. The song responded, My heart, my heart, exalt in the Lord, my Savior. My heart, song in the Lord, my Savior. My heart, exalt in the Lord. My form is exalted in my God. I have swallowed up my enemy. I rejoice in my victory. My heart, exalt in the Lord. My Savior. The vows of the mighty are broken, while the pottering bear unstrained. The well fed fire themselves out of breath, while the hungry bathe in its oil. The bad wife bears seven sons, while the mother of many languages. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. The Lord puts to death and gives life. He casts down the generic world. He raises up again. The Lord makes the poor and makes rich. He humbles, he also exalts. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. He raises the needy from the down. From the down here, he lifts. Of the poor, to sit them in trouble and make a glory strong their heritage. My heart exalts in the Lord, my Savior. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! that she's pouring her heart out to the Lord. 
She is even crying now, asking for a favor from her Yahweh. And she knows very well that if she does not have a child, then the people will think that she is a sinner and therefore God has punished her without her any children. But this is not the reason why she is asking for it, but she is really wanting a son so that she can be proud of that son. Yes, she is begging of the Lord. And here comes Eli, who is a man of such status because of his religion. He is a priest. And he comes and he misjudges her. He does not see what she is really seeking and asking. He is judging her as a drunk. And he goes on to blame her that not to come to the temple drunk like this. And she pleads and respectfully says, I am not drunk. I am only pleading that I may have a son. And yes, he understands and then he blesses her and he says. And she respectfully believes in Eli and says, yes, he also has blessed me. So he is now going to think about it and see how he can get the child. And yes, when the child was conceived, she offered the child to God. And yes, we will see as we go along, this child is destined to be a great one. He's not only a prophet, he's a judge, and yes, he's going to have the greatness that will come about on man. She prayed only for a son, but she got more than what she wanted. Today we look at ourselves. Are we that prayerful like Hannah? Are we that respectful like Hannah? Do we always pray and ask for something in that manner as Hannah has done? She poured out her heart. She did not <coughs> She did not think about the prayers that are written out from by someone to give it to her. She poured from her heart these prayers that came out. Do we have those prayers that we can say from our heart, asking the Lord, and believe that they will be received? And when we receive, do we expect that only a son will be given, or more than a son is given to us? Yes, we have to believe and trust as Hannah did. Great things can come, and we should accept those greatness also that come along with that. Yes, we pray that whatever God gives, we should not refuse. Whether it is good or bad, we receive it with a thanksgiving as Hannah has done. Yes, we do not judge anybody as Eli did. But we pray and accept what God will give to us. We pray today in a special manner for the things that we want with our hearts open and yet we receive it with our hearts open, whatever they need. Be the blue. 
my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Be the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name. For are the buildings of all his church. May your people, people of salvation, O oh Lord, find favor with you be faith, that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they be walking in free. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And in your spirit. Lift up your heart. We the heart of the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just that you keep and our salvation. Always and everywhere we give you thanks to our Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love, His resurrection we confess with living faith, and His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the ease of that thing, we praise you as without end we proclaim Oh, oh, In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took a chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take it, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of pain we Therefore, as we celebrate the mem memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one 
by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, our church, pray to our Lord, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with the pastors of hope, all the government of Bishop, and all the assistant Bishop, and all the clergy. <coughs> Remember also our brother and sister who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your faith. As much as when I call this grace, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her heart, and the Blessed Apostle, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be called to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Oh. As the Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching, we dare to say, Of our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin, safe from deception, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the face of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And to your spirit. Let us offer each other signs of Blood of Christ, keep me safe for eternal life. Amen. You shall 
let us pray. Humbly we ask you, Almighty God, be graciously pleased to grant that those you remain with your sacrament may also serve with life pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thank you. And you have a wonderful day too. Thank you. God be with you. God be with you. God.